Hi Brendan. I am just making I've got making sure I've got everything set up properly. Right, let's get a move on then, shall we? Everything seems to be working properly. Oh yeah, glasses. Need to put those on us, I won't be able to see by end at night. There. So I have got everything set up properly, I've put the new sound clips and everything in place so they should all be working fine. Time to chill and play some Mario. So... <laughs> Hi Brendan. Um, I had to go to the little thingy, didn't I? I'm alright. My cough is slowly going down and getting better. 
I did spend a big chunk of today. Um, how do I kill this thing? I did spend a big chunk of time after work today just uh, playing with stream stuff. Right. Come on. Don't know how I'm supposed to hit this thing. Yeah, tried out some new stuff, added a couple of new sound alerts. Um, I'm looking at getting some other stuff working as well. I just need to practice. I'll try out a bit of code for it. Um, which way am I supposed to go? Is it this way? Like, if you check out the sound alerts, there's a... What did I call it? There's Excuse Me, which is a new one, and Dumb Move, which is a new one. Right, which way is the thing I was looking for? Over here. Another one of these dudes as well. Mm. It's not, I fucked up. That's, you found that's it. the dumbest move I've ever done. I did make sure to message Greg to ask him if it was okay to include it. flying thing. Hi Abby! How are you? <laughs> I always make sure to ask people before I put them on it, just in case. I'm alright. My cough is finally going. Although I seem to be unable to kill this thing. Blah. supposed to hit it. <laughs> Sounds about rabbit. right, Abby, that's what I'm like most days. Yeah, most days I don't even eat breakfast. I end up, like, grabbing something round about lunchtime. Granted, since I've started working from home, it's because I usually wake up, like, half an hour before I need to start work. 
Just as I suspected. <gasps> Secret entrance. Look at this use too. The altar has opened up to reveal some kind of entrance. This may contain what I have been seeking. Proof of the ancient ones themselves. Yes, it all makes sense. We performed the ceremony with the sun incense, and the sun itself was but the sun itself was missing. Now that it has returned, the path inside has resealed itself. Oh no, wait until you hear about this back at the university. I expect registration for my spring semester courses will be an all time high. Not sure what the professor is talking about, but I'm sure glad he's so happy. Hi Spike! How are you today? may have remained sealed forever if you hadn't been able to return the sun to the sky. Now then, let's hurry inside. I'm certain we'll find even more to celebrate, perhaps even a solid lead on the legendary Captain Teoid himself. Ah, I'm alright Spike. My cough is almost gone. So, rather than lying around and feeling sorry for myself, I actually went and did some stuff before stream. I even added a couple of new dumb toys and stuff to it. Hey guys, is it absolutely freezing in here or is it just me? Thought we restored the sun, why is it so chilly in here? Ah, I can explain. Although we are in the desert, we have now descended below its surface, where the sun's warming rays cannot reach us. Actually, the mere lack of sunlight cannot explain this degree of chill. I retract my explanation. My world, what in the, my word, what in the name of peer-reviewed study is that? <gasps> it's all frozen. It's ice, a huge chunk. Um, quite long. Like I've been playing this for a fair few hours already, and I'm like probably about three quarters of the way through. Look at this. The refrigeration technology on display is more sophisticated than I could have ever imagined. Wonderful. Mother of graduate students, there's someone in there. Mm, judging by the distinctive red spots and the unmistakable cloak, could it be? It's Captain Tiawed himself. He's really real. There is no mere clue. It's the real deal. I must excavate this item and save him immediately. Good luck. Now to smash things. See, look, it's just full of open fridges. That's why it's so cold. We've also got magical fire powers. I played Thousand Year Door years and years ago. So I don't remember much about it. I do remember that there's like a young archaeologist Goomba in it who's basically got like a Boston accent. That's about all I remember about a thousand year door. Time to melt all the ice. Oh, he's a wizard. He's got a cloak and everything. It's not moving. Oh, I hope he can be revived. Maybe he's just stiff from being frozen for so long. Poor guy. Should I try heating him up with fire again? That won't be necessary. Burn not paper with fire, lest ye yourself become singed. He's alive, and he speaks the same language as us. Kind of. Allow me to introduce myself. I am indeed the Toad. Known as Ode, Captain T. Ode, to be precise. I have survived the interminable passage of eons here in this Arctic prison. Now I am free. Captain T. Ode. Of course, Mario, Olivia. I think he means Captain T. Ode. At least I can finally say I've met the real ancient one myself. Now then, down to serious academic business. There is a simple question that has plagued researchers and archaeologists for time immemorial. 
Now in this historic moment, I have the opportunity to go directly to the source. What an occasion. O oh, Captain, my Captain, we have studied the diet of the ancients based on artifacts, oral traditions here in the region. But there's one thing that it has completely stumped. How did you take your coffee? Cream and three sugars. Three sugars, it's beyond my wildest imagination. What a breakthrough. Your ancient ones have probably forgotten more about coffee than we will ever know. Oh, that's nasty, Spike. I've done that a few times when we've been out camping and stuff. Maybe Spike should be, like, wearing gloves or something. Might help. My work here is done. <coughs> wow, coffee with three sugars? You must really like sugar. How interesting. Oh, I guess it's not that interesting. Anyway, why do you seem so sad, Mr. Captain? Because you were frozen, or did something else happen to you? In this moment, I am as a bird in a cage. I yearn to sail free at the helm of my merino, underneath the great cresting waves. You say merino? Do you know about the super merino? So weird, how did you get to the musée already? <laughs> now, whenever I'm doing gardening and stuff, I always wear gloves. Oh yeah, if they're the cheap thing gloves, then yeah, there's no point. They just go straight through. I've got some like proper thick, um, basically like welding gloves, I think, that we use when we do gardening. Like I can grab thorns and all sorts with that and no bother. Yeah, proper leather ones, thick leather. So, my merino rests in a musée, as you call it. There's no place for her adventurous spirit, she yearns to break free. You have my thanks, strange one. I know what I must do. Oh, okay, I wonder if he's headed to the musée. He sure seems to care about the merino. It's hard for me to understand anything he was saying. I guess that's ancient language for you. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I haven't made the archaeobiological discovery in, our, in over five minutes. I'm just kidding. A little academic humour. Oh, -ho. thank you both for all your help. You've made my dream come true. No, we should be thanking you. You were b such a big help in the desert, Professor. So, thank you. Now then, should we head out and try and find the next streamer? All this about the purple stream in the Great Sea. It's the Great Sea, where is it? Maybe we someone back in Showdown will know. Should we go there? Yeah, you can just get used to nettles eventually. Like, where we used to go... To do LARP and reenactment, there was a the farmer there grew nettles to make nettle tea, and they just didn't bother him at all. He just grabbed them all the time with his bare hands. So eventually, you just get used to it. <laughs> yeah, bare hands, hands like a bear. Right, there should be one of those warp pipes over here. Ta-da! <laughs> so we've got at least three more areas to go to. <laughs> Check the shops and stuff. See if we have any more cool stuff we could buy. Right. We've still got that one up there that I don't know how to get to. Now this is just the dude's house. You're Mr. Trinket Man. Yeah, we'll take that. 
Ta da! Thank you. And now he's sold out again. But. Accessories. This one. I really like nuts. Someone is <sighs> going to clip it. Spook. Right, um... Hey! Excuse me, princess! Yeah, I might have added that one in just to wind up Bart a bit. Wait a second. Master Toad is still vacationing in the desert. Yeah, I just plan on like extend expanding those the longer I go. <laughs> yeah, um, I only had them allowed for the, um, for the Halloween stuff. No, it's not. I fucked up. That's, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. <laughs> Yeah, that was from the, the chess one, Spike. Oh, They will come back eventually. doing true right so we got four got some more flashy ones get some more flashy hammers I don't see it or I'm in the wrong channel but can you call me a little by <gasps> it was there did I forget to reactivate it Maybe I did, but yes, Spike, you are you are a little bitch. Just to make sure. Ooh. Yeah, coffee makes me sleepy for some reason. It's weird. Right, we need. We got four of those, got four of those, got four of those. Um, got plenty of mushrooms. But we can buy one ups now, so we'll buy at least one of those. Do we go? I don't see it or him in the wrong channel, but can you call Spike <laughs> a little buy from me also? <sighs> Brendan, just not nice. Just out in Spike as being a little bitch like that. Nice one. Are you doing the Nano Remo thing or whatever it's called? Truer. Yes. Yup, yup. Yeah, I know a couple of people who are doing that. And like it's hard to keep the word count up. Oh, uh, shit! These rewards. I could have sworn I added the little bitch one back in. Brinda, how dare you? I know some German insulting words. Don't dare me to use them. Do it, Spike. Do it. 
Uh, manage. Oh, that's why. It's because I just renamed it and I forgot to redo it. So, give me a second. There we go, it's been re-enabled for you. Mushy cop. Oh. Some German insults are bad. I remember when we went to uh, Germany we schooled. Some guy at the border. Brindon, hold your horses, you are a Cranking house fjord, he he. Cranking house fjord. Yeah, there was a when we were going over the border into Germany when we still needed a passport and everything for it. Somebody called my uh, my German teacher a Schwiebelkopf, and we all called it him for like the rest of the year. Like the rest of the year, this poor German teacher will walk past and everybody go, ah, onion head. Schweinhund. Schweinhund's just like a common one, I think. It's like somebody calling somebody a cunt. There we go. It's so endlessly big, the only word you could use to describe it is epic. Well, that and great, I guess. Oh, look, there's the purple streamer. What's it doing out here in the Great Sea anyway? Like it stretches out really far. <laughs> the Great Sea is huge. We better stick close to the streamer so we don't lose track of it. Yeah, it's one of those. Never use it ever. Right, we're out on the ocean. We're gonna find our way to. After this all thing. those nasty words, I feel sad and sorry. Sorry, Brindon, my love. I still hope we can marry someday, Sage. Mario, look, the streamer dips into the sea. Are we supposed to follow it down there? All right, we need to go back to the museum, don't we? Get a hold of that uh, submarine that's hiding out there. There. Turn to town. Oh, poor Spike. <laughs> right, I need to go to the museum because the submarine isn't there. Ah, uh, Mario, we have some new pieces on display. Right, so this. Supermarino, ancient vessel of the legendary Captain Tyrid. So he should be here, somewhere. Don't think he's going to be on one of these. <laughs> Is that captain hiding in one of these? What does Olivia say? Didn't mean to do that, but... It's the coolest museum ever, so let's collect a bunch of stuff, okay? Right, so that's all she said. What if we go outside? Hmm. 
Nobody will dox will lead us. So Amaranth is no fun, she's just me. cleaning her damn horse. Last time I checked, she was fucking spreading her legs on the what <laughs> are you doing in my swamp remix. Hashtag weird girl. Wow. Sounds like exactly like your kind of thing, Spike. Right, so we do need to go out to sea. I'm just going to work out what to do while we're there. Let's go. <laughs> Made you feel awkward. Right. What are we supposed to be finding? Apart from 400 billion fish. There. So here we need to swap. Flashy boots, gold boots, flashy iron boots. Swap you for flashy hammer, flashy hammer, shiny hell hammer. Swap flashy boots, jump. Yeah, there was a whole thing not long ago where, like, the meta was doing ASMR ear-licking streams and they had, like, microphones in the shape of an ear and shit like that. Just weird. <laughs> it's a very strange place. You know, bugger these guys. You can get paid to do it for me. I reckon we could get Alex to do a stream like that. I'm sure he's got an ASMR Trouble? mic somewhere. I like your streams, I like your voice, but let's be true here. When will there be a near looking A-S-M stream? Or wait, even better, Trouble? When will there be a hot tub stream? Oh, kind yeah. regards, Brindon. Well, unfortunately I don't know anybody with a hot tub, so you might have to wait. Unless we can find one at like the house we're all staying at in TwitchCon or something. Unfortunately, you might have to wait. Either that or I'll do like a VR one or something. Yeah, Bart did a hot tub stream. And I'm pretty sure we can convince Alex to do the, uh, the ear licking one. Just need to badger him for a bit. Right, what is this island? I want to know what this island is. It looks like an arena. Yeah, we'll do an IRL hot tub stream if there's one there. Scuffle Island. So it is an arena. Welcome, warrior of the waves. This island is home to seven super powerful paper macho enemies. Managed to defeat them, we shall be rewarded with coins more and more with each victory. If your HP drops to zero, it'll be game over. You lose the round and all your hard won coins. Use of mushrooms is forbidden, considering your HP carefully. We'll continue into next round. 
Enough set up, the Island Demands Combat First Battle begins now. Oh, so we're going to fight these things. Round one. Stomping sentry. Come on. Ta-da! Oh yeah, use all the Dark Souls tactics on these ones. And... dead. Oh, almost. Oh yeah, I've got to remove all the stickers then I've got to break it. Should be one more hit. There we go. Oh, and you get health for beating them. Easy. You win 100 coins. Continue. Excellent, the island is pleased. Bring out the next opponent. You are... Shagai. Round two. This kind yeah. of enemies reminds me of Lil Big Planet Toe. Yeah, they do a bit. Oh, he got me again. Bastard. Got him. Five hundred coins. Do it. Do it, Spike. Excellent. The island is pleased. Bring out the next opponent. <sighs> The secret is Chua, I try really, really, really hard. All the time. Ah, uh, no. It's this one. Right, so he's gonna bounce twice, isn't he? Oh, I need to make sure I'm not near it. Bounce once. Twice. Bop. There once was a maiden from Stonebury Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she swallow. I have a nice lance that she sat upon. The maiden from Stonebury who was also your mum. Well, yeah. <laughs> Oops. How do I get the British swag if it wasn't part of my upbringing? Brendan, you just need to eat like large amounts, like drink large amounts of tea and um, eat terrible food for a few years and watch terrible TV for even longer. Is that not the song that uh, Timmy sings as well? Uh, there's one called Yorkshire Tea. It's the one you need.
drink large amounts of Yorkshire tea. Trouble? I have a question for you. What is heavier a kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? It is steel because steel is heavier than feathers. Um, technically is steel. Because weight is a product of mass and steel has a larger mass. No, 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 it is true. It is a. Uh, if you're saying which had the same mass, a kilogram or a kilogram, it'd be the same amount of mass for each. But if you go through weight, weight is a function of gravity and denser objects have a slightly higher gravity than lighter objects. So a denser object. Uh, so a kilogram by mass of steel has a slightly heavier weight by a kilogram by mass of feathers. Granted it's like fractions of a fractions of fractions of newtons, but it does. Science. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole thing where you ever heard the thing like the larger a mass something has, the more gravity it has, or the more gravity it exerts on things. It is the same concept, just scaled down by a lot. There's actually a. Uh... <laughs> there is an international scientific measurement that gets reset every few years, and I'm pretty sure it's like a kilogram of lead. And due to that's like the standard kilogram, and everything else gets calibrated against that. But because it can shed atoms and shit like that. Like, they have to recalibrate every few years. Yeah, the office by itself is a bit of a slog. Uh, need to remember not to let it land on me. because I want to see how far I get and what I actually have to go against. Next opponent. Oh, it's Boo. Come on, Trouble. You can do this. Go, go, go. Just kidding, lol, 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 and thanks for the lurk. Come here, Boo. Boo into it. Come on. I see you. Oh, he got me. Ooh. 
Lena, 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 <laughs> right, this is the flying one that I struggled really badly with earlier. So I may die. I really like nuts. Someone, Someone is going, is to, going clip to clip it. it and take it out of context. Can never remember how I'm supposed to hit this guy. Oh yeah, that was wrong. I'm supposed to do it this way. And I've got to time it like perfectly. Come on, trouble. G R R R R R, you can do this, I'm not even kidding. doing these ones, I just don't know what it is. Dead. <laughs> right, we will come back to this island later. See you later, Brynden. Right, let's get back on the boat. Back on the boat. Yes. You disappointed me, sir. Now I have to unfollow, of course, and unsubscribe three of your followers. That's alright, Spike. I'll just get somebody to ban you when you're not looking. Boy, Brendan. <laughs> um, no idea what I need to be finding out here. What does Olivia say? Give me clue. Purple streamer goes. Better not lose sight of it. Right, so it says go to the end of the purple street. over this way. This is the pink one. Can't go that way. Maybe. Fog is unbelievable. Can't see through it at all. If you get lost in that mess, better turn back before we get ourselves in trouble. Ah, what a pain in the pot. I wish we had a sea chart that we could navigate through this haze. 
So, speaking of sea charts, you have two over the hurdle, legend of Captain Ode. Legends speak of a legendary toad who moved beneath the waves and owned a legendary sea chart. Ah, but those are just tall tales. Not much truth behind them, I reckon. If only they were true. A sea chart like that might help us cut right through this blasted fog. Do you mean Captain Teode? We know that guy. He said he'd be at the museum. Ha ha ha! Ah, you jokers. That must be the most ridiculous fib I've ever heard. You made a legendary captain from ancient times and he's just hanging out in a dusty old museum. Ha! Ah. You serious? Well, what are we waiting for? Head straight for that museum. Right, so I had to come all the way out here just to run into the fog just to go back to the museum. Nintendo, you dicks. Let's go. Yeah, we can add it to the list of Nintendo's crimes. On top of, like, no integrated voice chat, no party system, no, uh, what else is there? Terrible menu systems. the museum. Huh. thought Captain Teode would be here to greet us. Captain Teode, you meet Captain Teode? He's, he's not really, you know. It's just quite an ancient legend. Quite colourful, sure, just an imaginary. Hey, the sign says no piloting the merino. You're in direct violation of the sign. Ah, oh, my precious Marino, still beautiful, still formidable, and yet time marches on. Hey, we were just talking about you. So did you find the other thing you were looking for? Sea chart, that was it, what it was called. Oh, I hope you have it. What is lost may never be found. All that remains is shattered, reflection, like a teardrop in a pond. But yes, I have the sea chart. Propose a trade. Convey me and my vessel to the great sea. You shall have my chart. Sorry I'm late. I think I heard everything while I was running in. When I get that rig to the great sea, I'm your toad. Ah, oh, this is going to be so cool. Submarine and a boat. Two famous captains. Can't wait. What about my exhibit? It's the star attraction. I can't curate something else out of thin air. Well, you're going to have to. Because I need that submarine. Easy. Keep her coming. All right, you should be go to, good to go from here. Decide you want to rig up a few more outboats? Give that vessel some real oomph, you call me. You have my gratitude. And you may now have this. Sea chart! Yay, thank you so much. Can't wait to adventure on the sea. Who knows what kind of amazing things we'll see. Yeah, sticky note apps well useful. I always use it while I'm working through. Like make notes of bits of code or like certain sections I need to keep hold of or something. Oh, has anybody ever rhymed those two words before? I must say, this whole situation with Captain Teoid being real is what we in the museum business call completely bananas. That said, there's no dispute in the agent text. The Marino is yours, Captain. You should have never come here, you humans. I am a level 10 bard, and with my loot I shall power up my elven guards with the magical song of Enchanini. <laughs> magical song of Enchanini. Magical song magical of Enchanini. I shall power up my elven guards magical with the magical of song of Enchanini. I shall power up my elven guards with the magical song of enchantment. I've been playing it again recently, Spike. Is that why? Magical song of enchantment. And if you should choose to return to my humble museum at any time in future, I'll gladly offer you a personal tour. Farewell. Oh, this is going to be super. I'm just so excited you have all called on me and my boat to help. Can't wait to see what the submarine can do going under the water. What will we think of next? Anyway, I'm ready when you are. 
Let's go. <laughs> Just a 10 hour version of, him, of Team Ewing. And Chan. And Chan. So Alex has still got his 10 hour IIR redemption ready for his stream. So nobody's redeemed it yet. So I think it's like a. I think it's like 50 or 75,000 or something. But Alex is going to do a 10 hour IAR stream. Press L to view the C chart. <gasps> the red boat marks your current position. Check my C chart as you go to keep from getting lost. Mostly blank right now, but I'll add any new lines we discover along the way. <gasps> a skull. Already that's one island on the sea, messing skull shit to name it Bonehead Island. <laughs> Just listening to ten hour loops of stuff. You're like that one guy who's like listened to In the End by Linkin Park like thousands of times. I remember seeing something about it, some guy posted it. Is it here? Yeah, it is. There you go, Spike. This is you, this is. There you go. He's in a friend's house. Check out his iTunes library. Literally only one song. Linkin Park in the end. Almost 30,000 plays. So they also they all say prove it. Linkin Park in the end. 3 minutes 37. 64,694 plays. So they say alright do it with a timestamp. He goes alright. So I will. Sixty-four, six, nine, five. <laughs> oh, six, nine, six. The best thing is, he's still replaying it. Played it two more times between the posts. I like the song. <laughs> that guy just really likes Lincoln Park. <laughs> Oh, what's this one you've given us? Oh, it's the PlayStation Memories one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I recognise that one now. <laughs> so I can dive at suspicious spots with the submarine. Like this. <laughs> no, she's fucking off now. Like Oz trolling Alex with that, uh. Thomas the Tank Engine remix we always spam him with. Submarine, give me stuff. Right, so if I look now, he's added nothing. Oh, 
Oh, that's actually in the mist, that's why. Press 4 to learn more about the martial art of dad jokes with a token DILF trouble base. No worries, Bart. Hi cutie, need to lurk a bit more, got some delays, sorry, less than three. <laughs> it's okay, Bart. Enjoy. Right, so... We can go through the fog now, we're just gonna use this shit. Which means... We'll go vaguely in this direction. We have an island. Whoa, creepy skull. Ah. Right, onto the creepy Skull Island. See, it's Skull Island in the middle of a fog. I'm expecting to find King Kong here now. Bonehead Island. Yeah, it sure is creepy. It just means that big ugly skull face staring at us. Don't surrender to fear. You must explore this island. Secrets await, and I want to hear what they are. Let's go! Also, it's filled with holes. Bird! Bird! Get bird. Getting there. I'm on a big exploring bit at the moment, so looking for the next streamer to fix. Bird. Flimsy hole. <sighs> Lots of coins. How are you doing, Dave? You alright? My cough has almost gone. Don't know about yours. Yeah, it's it's about the same length of Mario RPG RPG. Maybe a bit shorter. Accessories man. Walk 10,000 steps with this and you'll be recorded. Rewarded there. Yeah. Need 14,000 for it. Meh. I can't jump high enough to get up there yet. So this way it is. But first. This. Ice balls. Right. This is going to be one of those. Fax yourself doors, isn't it? I oh know it's the coffee shop. Who is in the coffee shop this time? Rattle rattle, welcome on in. So we got dry bones and the little skull goomba. And then we got the dry bones who makes the coffee. Rattle rattle rattle, welcome to the dry bone dry cafe. What's your order? I'll have a morbid mocker. What well, problem is, Mario? You know, like Spoon? <laughs> I will come and sort out OBS for you and give you a tutorial on it on Saturday, Dave. So if, we're all, if we're going ahead with D&D, I should be good for it and everything. I'll give you a full tutorial and show you how it all works. Like, I can show you my setup now. Um, add. 
Da, 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 da. So if we go display capture um boom. there. So this is my OBS at the moment. So this bit with the red round it is my capture. So that's where I put my game capture and my camera, everything like that. I've got stream chat over to this side and you can see I can do points and everything here I can do uh, that I can do all my banning and everything if I want to um, I can delete messages on this side I have my points my activity feed so that says my points rewards has subscriptions has follows everything like that shows up here these are my different scenes that I have set up and all the different things in the scenes and I've got them organised into folders and stuff as well. So like, that's the capture that I've just added, the display capture. You've got trigger fire, which is my sound alerts. Um, it's my stream information, so my stream title, game I'm playing, all the tags and everything I want to add. Here's my audio mixer, so you've got my microphone, Elgato, which is the game capture. We've got the alert box, which is for follows. Trigger fire, TTS, and desktop audio if I want to use it. This is stats for the stream. So five viewers, like how long it's been going and all that. And then just some various controls down here. But with all of these, you've got different sound levels. There's filters you can add to them and all sorts. You've got up here, you've got transitions and all sorts you can add. So I will show you how to get it all set up and all nice and clean so it's easy to do for you. And then transitions like that you can make as well. I will show you how to put in custom transitions and stuff. And then I also have my chatbot that I use. So this is what allows me to all, all the commands and everything. So these are all the commands and stuff I have. This is where we do song requests, where we've got song requests going. This is where I've got um, like records of things like that. Got notifications that pop up in chat when people follow and stuff. So I'll show you how to get all those set up and everything. Because it's literally just OBS on one other program you need. But this means like having the chat here like I do means like you don't have to look at your phone or everything. You can literally just have like laptop screen there and then TV screen for whatever game you're playing. Ta-da. So like I have it because I've got my, I'm at my PC. Yeah. So like I've got this left monitor has all of my OBS stuff on it. This right monitor has the game on it. So for you, because you're using your TV and your laptop screen, you can have your TV with the game on it, then the laptop with all the stuff like I have here, so you can see, see chat and everything just at a glance at your laptop. So I can set all that up for you easy enough. Like you could even use your TV as a second monitor if we... Like, you've got a decent enough TV, and you've got a brand new laptop, so the laptop's probably going to have HDMI out on it. So I can get all that set up for you dead easily. But yeah, it takes a bit of playing around, but once you've got it set up, then you don't need to mess, in, mess with it. And like we can even set up like like I said, I could set up a specific scene for when you want to do VR and stuff. Right, let's have a look inside. We've got fire. Some this. Ah, <gasps> Goomba. Yeah, we can set up specific scenes for VR and stuff like that and add a few extra bits in. Like that, uh, like that thing Katie has on at the moment that allows you to um, have your notifications and stuff. It's specifically made for not using OBS. 
and it's really janky and really hard to get rid of. But you can set stuff like that up in the side OBS really easily. Like if you wanted like a little scroll bar down the bottom or something. Hammer. And I'll sort out that microphone for you as well because it's just about setting your headset up so it gets detected in your laptop as well. Then you'll be able to use the mi microphone on that instead of the laptop mic. All this fire. Hmm. If we explored one ear hole, it'd be crazy enough for us not to crawl into the other one, right? So we're going to go and try and get to the other ear. Somehow. Oh yeah. Go along this. Have to fight the bird. Yeah, we can do if you want, Dave. Just give us a shout when you're ready, and I'll... Uh, How are we going to do this one? Three moves. One. Two. Yeah, because the chat bot that I use, Alex uses as well, and it's really handy. Like you can do all sorts with it. You can put uh, scripts into it and stuff if you want to. For like specific scripts to run, run on all sorts. Ta-da! But I'm always messing around with bits of it in my spare time to see what I can do and stuff. Huh, there's a statue there. Right, I made it over this way. There is a toad out there. Because it made the ringing sound. Where is this toad hiding? Where you at, Toad? There you are. Save me. As thanks, let me show you where to find a sunken treasure. I claim it, but I'm lazy. <gasps> he gave us an X. Nice. Right. You can have another Goomba. Yeah, you got the Skull Goomba. Right, line them all up. Um, yeah, look at this. I can have 500 to do it for me. Here we go. So easy. So jump on this lot. Pew. And then we'll have flashy hammer on this lot. Ta-da! That's you dealt with. Ah, so that opened that door, so... Oh, I did a thing. So if you're all lit... Maybe we have to mirror the pattern. 
you get down. No. Or is it a reflection? Rather than copy it, do it that doesn't need to be a reflection. Yep, reflection is what we needed. Ta-da! Right. Then we got this. Whatever this does. <gasps> Secret door! Chest, give me stuff. Yay, we got a treasure. Right, is this going to lead to the statue thing? Bum, bum, bum. <gasps> Look where we are. This is it. We got a toad statue. If you seek paradise, gather the three orbs on Diamond Island. Pair of dice? What in the world is this statue talking about? Ooh. It's a giant fan. It's going to blow away all the fog, isn't it? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Amazing. Hi <laughs> Kelly. Wow, the fog totally vanished. That was amazing. <sighs> T-Rex sound was just for Halloween. It's gone. It is gone. Unless I happen to play a dinosaur game or something in future, then I'll add it. Right, so we need to get rid of the purple streamer. So we go this way. Ah well. Have to wait for Halloween, won't you? Or wait for a dinosaur game. So we need to get to the purple streamer now. All the fog is finally gone. Now we can explore the rest of this big old ocean. But there's a streamer over there. Let's follow it. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> they go dev. New engine for your boat is available. Right, if I send the submarine down here. Is that there's something here? Shall we investigate further? You go, Dave. You got Kamehameha as well. <laughs> hey, the streamer is stuck in the sand down here. Can't follow it like this. streamer now and see where it goes. Yeah, David definitely break it. Katie would break it twice. <gasps> it's a mushroom. <laughs> Just calculators everywhere. And yeah, Katie would break it twice, definitely. Or three times. Oh no, it's frozen. Um, and you are a toad, you're not a fish, I can tell. Oh my gosh, this whole house is encased in a block of ice. Hope the people inside are okay. Me, you. 
Yes, finally, after days and days of swimming, I made it to this island. Friend and I promised to meet here in case of a huge disaster. I wonder where they are. Right. So around here somewhere, there's got to be a magic circle. Somewhere. Um... About an hour and a half. Yep, just under an hour and a half. You can do... There. One hour, 23 minutes. Fire. Time for the magical anime transformation. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> if you do, I'll tell Jesus about your music collection. So it's exclamation mark, follow edge, but I don't think I've got that set up. Um, maybe I can set it up now. Probably shouldn't be. Well, let's follow it. Show Richard. Steal at redeem from Greg Greg Thetty. <laughs> right, I'll see if I can set it up right now for you. I did listen to it, Dave, and it, I don't think it was very good. Um, follow it. So commands or add. No, it's not. I fucked up. That's, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. Um. Did I activate it? Why does it not like it at all? Hmm. I really like nuts. Someone is going to clip it. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't like me. Um, unless I need this bit in it. I do. Right. I messed up the code. Right, let's see what's in this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I put one in then with um, an API on it because the coding for Streamlabs chatbot is slightly different. It doesn't seem to like it. I'll have to sort it out after stream. So somebody was living in this house, but they're gone. Maybe at the back. This door is missing something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Or any part of my hand for that matter. There's no way to open it. It was spare handle. Um we do not have a handle. Booger. Yeah, there'll be a way to do it. I just need to work it out. So the code for um, Streamlabs Chatbot is different to Nightbot. Nightbot has some stuff um, built into their website. While... And the Nightbot pings their website while Streamlabs Chatbot uses an API. Which is more efficient, but it takes a bit more work to set up. Right, this bit. This is what we're looking for. Show me the money. Stream is still stuck here. So... You know what then? Pull a purple stream of a quick stop at some of these islands might be fun. Like this island. Shapes like a heart. I'll call it a heart island. <gasps> We're near the treasure island as well. Let's go. I will be back in a second. I'm going to nip to the loo and grab something to eat as well. Or I shall leave you like this for a second. That's the dumbest move I've ever done. Something about seven. Oh no, wait, four two triple O double O double O six nine double O double O six nine triple O four two double O four two O sixty nine.
Poo underscore, 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 gets calmed. Ah. <laughs> no worries, Trua. Get some sleep. Sounds like you need it. Mysterious tunnel or cave. Aha. Right. Nice. There are toads hiding around here somewhere because... <gasps> Button! I bet we have to find the other buttons, don't we? Like this one. No. Monsters. I have pie and chips. Um. I'm probably going to mess this up horribly, but... Bugger it. Chalk. Seven hundred Adam. <gasps> Pot noodle. I'm gonna break, but I've got spares. Oh, I need iron boots. Bugger. Walls of arms. One. Move there. 
and we're dead. And then he flashy iron boots. Oh. Got him. Huh? Wait. Did I start the challenge? No, I didn't. <gasps> I forgot. I meant to turn something on and I didn't. Um, what's the challenge is? Not that fucked up. That's, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. There we go. Start. Ta da! Never bad. <laughs> no, no, true. Uh, button. <laughs> so, if I now activate this one... Eh. What does this one do? Recess them all. Shit. Genius. What does this do? You just spin round. Mm, these marks look important. No idea what they're trying to say. They might come in handy though, so I'll spec a quick copy. If you want to see the symbols again, press X on the great C and I'll show you. About this one. So you make a path that leads to the heart. Which is a toad. It's pointed that I'm not a real heart. Don't let your heart be troubled by such a thing. Love is all around us. Give me health. Winner. I think your HP just increased again, Mario, and you seem a bit stronger to boot. Right, 
And then there's a cave here, isn't there? Which leads to the chest. Fish. <gasps> and they attacked me, the bastards. So, once the community fills up that gold spike, I will do an entire month of streams using a VTuber avatar instead of Cam. I will get like a properly made uh, VTuber avatar and everything. My boots broke. Right, um, no, not my mom's. Flashy boots. Yeah, it was just a fun thing because I've been messing around with all those camera filters over Halloween. I found out how to do V2 avatars and stuff in the meantime. shit ton of coins for it though. And a chest. She had a toad inside. And he gives us another X to find treasure. Awesome. Whee. Right, um so now Have a look. Ship out. We're gonna have a look where this treasure is hidden. It's in this direction. treasure. <gasps> it's actually going underwater. Somewhere here there is treasure. <gasps> there it is. Give me treasure. <laughs> Mummy Goomba treasure. Oh well. I was hoping it was something really cool. Give me treasure, please. Right, um. So you're the mushroom house we found, but we still need a doorknob to get into the back. It's over this way. There's another X over this way, isn't there? In the middle of all these fish. Yeah.
one of them has magic. Um, so what we really need is magic one first because it means we'll get to use the magic attack make things much easier so when the next lot of fish come in I can just use magic on them and they'll get screwed She boots. Get fucked. There we go. Much easier. Right. Um, almost there. Here. looking for another chest or something similar chest grab gimme and back to the surface we go and you are Healing hearts. Right, so look at this. Let's look at those symbols. So we got Heart Island, so I'm guessing over this way somewhere will be another island we need to get to. I really like nuts. You're Someone nuts. is going to clip it. Shamrock Island or Club Shaped Island. 
Ah, they're going to be in that shape, aren't they? So there's going to be another one like direct north of the heart and there's going to be another one to the right. <gasps> I see big fish. Escort him to the safety bit. There you go. Yay, thanks Mario, you've been a big help. I know you'll keep being a big help by making sure my three friends make out of the grass and join me. Yay. Three friends are interested in that tall ring. Thanks for offering to bring them here. Yay. And I can see you hiding up there. Get down. Hey buddy, I see you've got a tow radar gizmo. Recharge it for a thousand coins. No. Alright, go about your discs. Huh. Check. More weird marks. May as well update it. Bring a nice flower. And more loot. And a resting spot. Play not on my Switch, Kelly. It is a Nintendo game, so it is on my Switch. Yeah. Right, um, I need to equip the toad sensor thingy, Donna. Where is it? If I do this. Ta da! And now I can just jump on them. And now remember fact to be a dick. to that last one. Ah, because he's also got ice. Cheeky fucker. Hammer time! enemy. Oh, 
there. So you guys are gonna be flashy I am because There we go. And then you guys can get flashy hammer. Perfect. Right, where is this toad? There he is. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Let me bash this thing. Bell rang then, which meant there is another toad close by, but there you are, two. Get the stick. Where is the toad? Ah, uh, more hammer bros. Get him. guys that way sweet so you guys can have flashy iron boots because a little bitey plant there so you sorted and then you guys can have fireball ta-da last toad hiding. It's around here somewhere. There you are. All three toads. All three toads led to safety. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Those soldier soldiers are sure are a laugh riot. So I guess those soldier soldiers are pretty scary. Blargle, blargle. I'll never ever forgive those folded soldiers. Look, they're all here. Thank you, thank you. All four of us are back together. Yay. I'm joy. Yay. Grr, I'm anger. I'm pathos. And I'm humor. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Together we're known as the feeling fungi. Don't you just love it? Love it? I can tell. We're putting on this act on the road soon, so thanks in advance for spreading the word. The extra thanks, we'll show you a spot on your map where treasure is waiting. Yeah, maybe later. Okay, everyone, once more with feeling. <gasps> Hi, Bart. Right, so we've got... <laughs> Two of the islands. Yeah, I came up with the idea while I was looking at the filters and stuff at Halloween Bar. Like, I found out how to do a full VTuber rig and everything. It'll be scuffed as fuck, but it'll be fun. Right, so now we're going ahead this way. If my guessing is correct, the next island would mean... Um, I'll show you, Kelly.
Today is not a good day, today is a sad day, everybody is donating points, and I'm sitting here not wanting to lose the OG trouble instead of getting a cheap rip off cartoony trouble. Aw, oh, poor Spike. There you go Kelly, have a look at that video. You get the gist of it from that. Right, so... North and east a bit further. What do you want, shy guy? Go down and left from here, you'll find a nice exchange, like a club symbol. Yeah, I know. I found that one. See trees over there, that's like a lightly island. Hey look, it's a spade. Spade shaped, we'll call it Spade Island. This looks bad. Hang on, friend. I'm coming. Will you at least, when you are of tuba, say a few times, I like nuts? And also, will you flash your digital tits a few times? <laughs> that makes that sadness not better, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I'll try, Spike. Clothes. Thanks for saving all Wait, of us. Wait, hold me. up. Will you be the scary ghost like you had last time? I liked that one very much. He, he, he. No, it won't be a ghost. It'll be like a, a proper digital one. I'll try and do a digital version of me. I'll try. Right, another hiding spot. showing his nipples. Right, one more island to find. And I know exactly where it's gonna be. Because they form a pattern. Richard might come alive if I can get it to work. So I just need to go straight in this direction now. If I have this right. Are you going to give me a clue? Oh, there's a reef ship, like a blooper out here. I'll find it on my sea chart. So I need to head vaguely in this direction.
There it is, crescent shaped island. It's a moon, partial crescent moon to be precise. In that case, we'll name it Crescent Moon Island. There we go, found all four. Let's go. Right, what's on here? Wow, this really does look like the moon. So when it's shaped like this, it's called a crescent moon, huh? Learn something new every day. No, Olivia, you're just a bit thick. Oh. There's a toad hiding around here somewhere. Bunny. This island is shaped like a croissant moon. A bit of a lunar calendar buff. Muppet. Shiny tail. Time to do fishing. When you should be crowded, pick it up. Do fishing mini games. Okay, okay, okay. As much as I love spending points here, I don't have a spin and I crack under group pressure, so hereby I donate some point to give Richard a better life. Also, Lena, 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 Lena. Okay, Spike. You've fallen for the master plan of group pressure. Bum, 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 bum. 
I'm just being lazy with these now. Hammer time. Bosh. Um, and then get these ones. Thing. Magic circle. <gasps> it's the earth elemental bomb. And there's still a toad hidden around here. What the dot dot dot? I can only spend 2k points maximum. What is this scam? Yeah, 2k points maximum. Yeah, it's 2k points maximum per stream you can spend on it. It is just the way Twitch works. Right, magic pie. Magical transformation time. Get him. What I'm supposed to do here is the Earth Elemental. Guess I'll just freestyle it and see what happens. Ready? Okay. Hi, Brina. How are you? Yeah, I have started a community challenge to do a VTuber month so that I can finally become the anime waifu that you deserve. Quick, pop the fish. Whoa, the crescent moon turned into a full moon. How cool. I mean, uh, I knew that would happen. Bop. Bop. <gasps> the toad. I, I was swimming in the ocean, but now I'm on dry land. What's happening? I'm so confused. <gasps> no, it's not Brina. This is world of Mario Craft. Give me prize. <gasps> What's in there? Is it big? Do you think it's valuable? Could be anything? I'm so excited. You've solved this island's test. The diamond key is now yours. Uh, I don't see a key in here. Is this a letter? Hey bro, got the key. Come find me on the mushroom-shaped island, Luigi. Luigi. Luigi was here first. How in the world did he find this chest? Something else in here. Mushroom handle. This thing looks like it fits in your hand pretty well. Those who have claimed the key, let my gap my my map guide your quest. Where does this go? Oh look, smack bang in the sensor. I wonder where that'd be. So we've got to go and find that useless shit, Luigi. Now, ah, uh, the crescent moon has filled out to become the full moon. The Crescent Moon Island shall now be known as Full Moon Island. Bump. <gasps> How did they go, Brina? Have you got your results yet? Or are you still waiting for them? you soon. <gasps> There's the uh, swordfish I spotted earlier. Let's get it. 
me you. Made of coins. around about here. Bart's going to be streaming soon. I'm going to call him out live on stream because he said he'd do it. Where is this chest? Chest. There you are. Gimme. <laughs> Bad case of what, Brina? <laughs> yeah, but Far Cry is rubbish, we all know that. Yeah, but Bake Off's rubbish. Mm. Far Cry Kekona. America! Right, let's go find that useless shit, Luigi. Granted, I have not played a Far Cry since Far Cry 3. We do have a handle. It is here. Ta-da! Perfect. Now, this is a door. Where is Luigi? Useless kit. Seek ye a path to paradise. Right. Now, bop you because you're a toad. <laughs> See, Dave agrees. <gasps> Thank you. I thought I'd be stuck as a fish forever. Here, you can claim this treasure as a reward. More treasure. Yeah, Brina, Kelly was telling us about you uh, doing handbrake turns and running people over while she was trying to do missions. It is exactly what I would have done. Luigi! What are you doing napping here? Smack, smack. Hmm? Ah, is that you, bro? I wondered when you would finally get here. I've been super busy. It's a really hard to swim in overalls, you know? But now I'm a relaxing to the max. I've earned a break, because I've finally found the key, Peach's Castle. Hi. Diamond key. Another mysterious key found by Luigi. Oh, hey, it's a key with a little diamond design on it. I'm sure this is a key to something important, but he doesn't want the key to be just cast. Luigi. Oh dear, sweet Luigi. This still isn't the right key. What? Wrong again. Uh, I did think it was kind of weird. The key isn't Peach's star at all. I gotta say, you live in such a cute little house, Luigi. Well, this place isn't mine. I just stopped here for a nap, swimming across the sea, ducking me out. Now that you mention it, I didn't see anyone here when I arrived. I should probably find whoever lives here and thank them for letting me catch a quick nap on their island. Yeah, Luigi is a useless fuck. There's <gasps> a basement. What is in basement? Ah. 
That's not creepy at all. Wowie, there's origami everywhere. Whoever lives here must really love origami. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot. It feels like a lifetime in our quest is far from over, but it's good to be home. Home? Yep, this room is where I was born. I was folded here by my brother. He's actually a skilled origami craftsman, you know. He folded me so well that I came to life. That's why I talk and float and talk and dance and talk here. Yeah, the Dark Pictures games are really good, Dave. Like, they're worth a try. Um, I think they were on Game Pass. I'm not sure if they still are. Wait a minute. Your brother folded you to life, but he's also origami. So who folded him? I can hear you. I'm trapped in a space between dimensions. Help me, please. That voice. Someone's here and they might be a person who folded my brother to life. Is that who lives on this island? We should probably rescue them, right, bro? Can you believe this is made entirely out of origami? It's so amazing. <gasps> it's a tiny throne. My brother made me here. He folded me to life on this little desk. Cramped and dark. Is he stuck in the wall? Poor guy. I want to help him, but I can't do anything without a magic circle. Right, so we need. Origami tools, all you want. Draw directly, they'll be able to add depths. Folding together origami, it might fall apart. Create holes as a foot accept, don't pierce the origami's face. Secure joints and ensure folds. Folding well is above the room of the secrets and you can bring origami creations to life. How does it work? What's the secret behind it? Most importantly, who would be the first ma craftsman to master these tools? Right, we need to get on top of there. With the secret sealed bookies. Check this out, bro. There's a weird book over here. It's too high to reach, I just think a regular jump is going to do the trick. What you need to do, Dave, is don't sell the kids, it's put them to work. That's what it's for. She's got a great idea. Hit me. Okay. Magic book. Ta-da! What's this? Secrets of the Fold of Life. Fold of Life is the ultimate origami technique, capable of giving life to your folded paper creations. Mastery of this technique requires exhaustive training, steady hands, and powerful emotions. Your love for the craft of origami must fill each and every fold for a creation to give a will of its whole. Fold of life, is that what my brother and I will fall folded with? Is this why he and I are both alive? <sighs> Magic circle. Let's find out who's hidden. So there we go. Toad. <laughs> we have few thanks for saving me, Mario. Wow, a real celebrity is visiting my workshop, and Luigi's here too. I'm the origami craftsman. I live a humble life folding origami. From sun up to sundown every day. I really love origami. You're an origami Caspin? Are you the one who folded my brother? Olivia, crease my corners. Is that really you? 
You look just how I designed you. Who in the world folded you? And why aren't you with Ollie? Well, I'm a little fuzzy on the details, but here's what I remember. I see. Ollie, what have you done? You are correct, Olivia. It was I who folded your brother. I wanted to make him truly unique, so I used a secret technique to bring him to life. Ollie was proud and strong, but very angry. He turned on me, trapped me in a realm between light and dark. Which turned out to be just a wall, I guess. How embarrassing. I'm guessing he completed you after that, Olivia. He seems he also ran off with your best origami making tools. Excuse me, your origami -ness, but why did you fold Ollie in the first place? I had intended for him to be part of the origami castle I was building for the origami festival. Both Ollie and the origami king and his sister Olivia were to sit atop as the finishing torches. I well, don't get to celebrate my craft very often, so I might have gone a bit overboard. I cannot believe that Ollie managed to fold you on his own, Olivia. You can use the fold of life. Origami has folded origami. It defies the natural order. I'm responsible for all of this. I wish I'd never used that darn fold of life technique. No origami craftsman, don't say that. I really love being alive. Yeah, I didn't even go end up going to the housewarming, Dave, because I was ill. But this weekend is a definite. Yeah, definite. I've seen so many beautiful things and made so many new friends and happy memories. If we can just face my brother again, I know we can talk him out of this. I convince him to put his anger aside and live peacefully with everyone, folded or otherwise. Alright, phew. That's why we needed the key to Peach's castle. What am I doing? I have to find that key so we can face Ollie. Bye bye, everybody. See ya, bro. Yeehaw! Hey, that reminds me, what do you think Luigi's diamond keel marks? His wrong key always end up being important. This is probably a clue to our next stop. Yeah, I can't do VR, Kelly. It gives me motion sickness. So I will just troll Dave while he's in VR. So it must have something to do with the purple stream of Mario. If we search more of the Great Sea, I'm sure we'll find a key will unlock the way forward. Remarkable, truly remarkable. Your journey with Mario has made you strong. Olivia, and so kind. I may not have folded you myself, but I'm proud of you. I don't know how to stop Ollie. I failed once, I'll only fail again. I'll have to leave him up to you too. Please, Mario, keep Olivia safe on your adventure. Okay, let's go stop my brother. Ta-da! So we know where they both came from now. Wait! Take these notes with you, Olivia. I'm sure they hope they can help you this? Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, that's so neat, hee hee. Mario, let's go in. Right. These nuts. Um, where is a save thingy? Is there one here? Oh yeah, I'll save when we go on the boat, won't it? On to the boat. Ta-da! <laughs> right. That is me done for today. We've made some decent progress. I am tired and my throat is starting to hurt again, so I need to rest it for a bit. There we go. So, next stream will be Thursday, where I'm continuing with Dark Souls 3 and probably dying a lot in that game. Oh, that's like a G stuff with that pestilent mist again. But, for now, this is us done. So, we'll find someone to raid, shall we? Who have we not raided for a bit? <gasps> I'm sorry Brina, but my throat is hurting. I need to go. I've been going for like two and a half hours already. So, who have we got? 
who is around. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> I'll tell you what, Muff 4 has just started. Let's go say hello to Muff 4, shall we? She's playing some spooky games still. She's playing Death's Door. So. I will see you all next time. So like I said, my next stream will be Thursday for Dark Souls. Round about the same time, about half five UK time. We have, I believe Greg is doing his fancy dress stream on Friday. So keep an eye out for that. Alex is doing more Sekiro over on Saturday and Sunday. He's doing extended streams as well. So prepare for all the Sekiro. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye bye everybody.